is going on guys toxic gaming here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free gold weapon in dying light it's a very simple way of doing it and all I gotta do is just follow the steps I'm about to give you guys and yeah I'll see you guys in a second also something worth mentioning is you're gonna have to go to your bounty board and go all the way down to the list to this objective called the Fajaya I believe I'm not sure how do you pronounce that but um anyways you'll eventually see it as a reward it's um a weapon under it, it's called the Zagnal, which we'll be getting to here in a second, so yeah, you'll see it eventually. So first and foremost, all you gotta do is just do what the bounty tells you and head to the prison, which if you don't know where that is, all you gotta do is just head to the docks over towards where the settlement is on the water, and you'll see a boat, and you just go into the boat and hold square, and it'll bring you to the prison. So when you get to the prison, don't actually do what the challenge tells you to do, like don't do the trial, don't do all the extra stuff or anything, so just follow what I do, so just run up these stairs, once you get up these stairs you'll see like a fence to the left here, so you jump up on the fence, you jump up and make sure you have the grappling hook and grapple hook onto that top roof, and just push yourself back like that and you should be able to land on the barbed wire if done correctly. So then after that you just run over on the other side and just grapple hook onto those pile of dead bodies right there um, it'll b eventually pull you in it might not work a first couple times you got to get it in like a good spot and yeah you'll eventually get in you shouldn't fall off but if you do just do that process again like in my opinion this is probably the hardest part of the process everything else is just easy so yeah and this and to, to me this is actually pretty easy so just keep pulling yourself in until you actually get in like that so now all you gotta do is just run over to this location over here and then you should be able to grapple hook on top of this building right here and then just follow as I do it just go over here and then jump down and eventually you'll see that you're under the map so now just look up all the way and grab a hook where I grappled make sure you grapple up on the ledge basically so you don't pull yourself in the map by accident so after that you're gonna have to just pull yourself in right over there in a the little spot right there make sure you aim it right because like I said you don't want to fall into the prison or else it's you're not gonna work it's not gonna work but if you do end up falling in uh, it's all right just restart it and you should be able to do it eventually so yeah, just run across that little platform and you'll see right there on the bottom I uh, oh yeah by the way make sure that make sure guys that to take out one of your weapon slots because you're gonna need it it's when you get the weapon or else it's gonna spawn your inventory it's gonna be a complete mess so yeah I just I would have a third slot ready to go once you get it so basically just pull yourself down there and yeah just run under the map and you'll see where I'm going um, hold the X to know exactly where to go you'll see like a little orange spot just follow the orange spot until you actually get to it and once you get there you'll actually see that there's the the finish room up there so this is the easiest part just grapple up there and you should be good to go and you have done the challenge you don't have to do anything and it'll eventually say that you did it and yeah just run over to the locker area where all the lockers are and stuff and yeah you'll have the weapon right there so unfortunately you can't actually put any upgrades on them you can put king mods and uh clicker mods on them obviously but you can't put anything like you know electrocuting uh, mods on it or fire mods on it you know what i'm talking about and as you see i'm doing here i'm putting on the clicker mods and it actually does pr pretty decent damage but the thing with this uh, weapon is is that each time you go on a kill streak on on a zombie horde or anybody really you kill with it'll actually double the damage so whatever it's already at it'll double it so if it's at like 2500 it'll do like 5000 damage if like you go on a kill streak with it and it gets pretty strong once you start using it so once you actually do this little glitch you won't be able to get into the armory because the game is confused and it thinks you did it but at the same time you didn't so like it's kind of confusing so at that point you just quit the game and you should be able to spawn in the slums again or wherever you spawned before and that's going to be able to test out the weapon so yeah guys so something I forgot to mention is that the higher your level the better this weapon will perform so I apologize to anyone who has a lower level and is was expecting this weapon to like shred like because as you can see here but once once you get to a higher level like obviously I was filming this when I was a lower level I'm a higher level and I use it and it's actually pretty good so like I said if you're disappointed I apologize but it'll eventually get better once you level up just keep uh, just do those duplication glitches or whatever which I will be uploading a new method on there uh, it's an updated method obviously that works and yeah it'll, it'll, that'll be out soon so yeah just keep doing those guys and this open will perform pretty well 
So yeah guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed doing this method. Um, you can do this method as many times as you want, but I really don't see the point seeing that you can just do a duplication glitch. You can duplicate like a hundred of these things. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.